Hey everyone, back for another brew day. Uh, so we're going to work with one of my old favourite kits, the Cooper's Real Ale. I haven't done this for well over a year now, so I'm looking forward to giving it another try. And I probably should have looked up what I did with it last time, but I, I didn't and I can't remember. But what we're going to do this time is use Brew Enhancer 3, which I'm pretty sure I didn't use with a Real Ale before. I've only used that with, I think, an IPA kit and maybe a Lager kit. So it'd be interesting to try it with a Real Ale. We're also going to put in half a kilogram of light dry malt, which I have already on the stove, just warming up. Just going to bring that to a boil. I put that in with three and a half litres of water. And we are going to add, what's this one? Cascade. Going to use some Cascade hops, about 20 grams, give or take. Um, this packet's actually already open. I just grabbed it out of the freezer. I'm not sure how much I used out of it last time. We're giving us a 50 gram pack. There's a good chance there's about 20 to 30 grams in there. So I'll probably just use the whole pack. Could measure it, but I haven't done that either. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to use about 20-ish grams of Cascade. Boil it for 10 minutes with the light dry malt. And in a few days, I'm dry hopping this one with Chinook. I haven't used that in a while, so we'll do that. And because I still have a couple of these left over, we're going to use USO5 yeast instead of the standard Cooper's yeast. So hoping this beer turns out pretty nice. Um, I'm just going to start the preparations and get moving. But as of right now, what we're really doing is boiling the light dry malt in the water. And like I said, once that comes to a boil, which will take probably about 10 minutes on this stove, um, we'll start adding the hops let it go and we'll start mixing everything up in the meantime cheers so just as an update um i went and weighed this and there is about nearly 40 grams in here less the weight of the packet so maybe 30 grams i guess um i probably won't boil the whole 30 grams i think it might make it a little bit too bitter for my liking so i'm probably going to use about 20 ish grams from this packet and to be honest as much as i was going to do chinook for a dry hop I've never actually done the same dry hop that I have for the wort, so for the bittering hops. So what I might actually do with this brew, change of plans, is 20 grams in the pot when it boils for 10 minutes, and the remainder, which will be about 10 grams, give or take, um, I will dry hop this batch with. And then I get rid of one packet instead of having 15 different open packets around the house. I think that'll be the plan. Um, and uh, yeah, I've actually never done that, strangely enough, that you'd think that would be a very common way to use hops but I've always sort of used different hops for dry hopping and bittering so this will be a first for me I guess got a bit of um, bad news sad personal news actually unfortunately in regards to brewing um, as you know I'm a bit of a fan of the Woolworths uh, home brand kits and some really terrible news my local Woolworths has stopped selling them uh, they were clearing out the homebrew stuff out in total and replacing it with that bloody zero alcohol beer. So now where there was homebrew, it's just fucking Carlton Zero, um, Heineken Zero, who cares what else it is. I mean, what a what a disappointment. Because I was actually in the mood to do a, a toucan home brand brew, but they don't have it anymore. I was lucky to pick up a couple of bags of the um, bottle caps, the Crown Seals, they were clearing them out for like a dollar a bag, so I picked up uh, a couple of bags and um, some uh, some of those uh, carbonation drops because they were clearing them as well. I think they were $1.30, which is much cheaper than the $4 they usually go for. Now, I'm not usually a fan of using those things, but having said that, they did make it easier when I was recovering from a surgery. And look, they're just something I can have on hand if I don't have, um, you know dextrose or anything around so it also won't be dextrose up the street now so now i can't just sort of do a bottle day without thinking ahead because i can't actually just go and buy crown seals and dextrose if i need to which is unfortunate so i have to physically go for a drive it's terrible news there i really hope they don't discontinuing the line of home brand um, brew kits because they were actually kind of good for the price you paid for them um, let me know if they still got them where you are uh, because I'm really hoping they're not just getting phased out everywhere. Sad news anyway. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a rolling boil going at the moment. So it's the time to put in the hops. I'm not measuring this out, I'm just going by feel. You can see. Yeah. yeah, 
looks like there's too much in there to use definitely for this. Now what you can do is you can put this in a bag and boil it in a bag which will reduce the amount of uh, sediment you're going to get in your fermenter. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. I don't care because it's just going to be yeast and stuff on the bottom anyway at the end. I don't care if there's some residue in there. As long as it doesn't get stuck in the um, pouring valve then there's no trouble at all. Chuck about half of that in. enough for the dry hopping. Hold that up there. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Just give it a little bit of a stir, make sure it's all, all good. Look at that, I've already got crap all over the thing. That was probably a bit of a mistake because I'm going to need this to uh, stir my batch together, so I'm going to always rinse this off. Yeah, I know you have to sterilise water, but that will be fine. Uh, in the end, I'm literally going to fill the fermenter up with water straight out of the tap anyway, and I've never had an issue, so not too concerned. Um, so yeah, give me a look at that. Boiling nicely, we've got the timer going, and now it's just a waiting game basically. So, when that's done, um, because I've got three and a half litres of boiling water here, that's going to raise the temperature of whatever I have in here quite high, um, which obviously is going to impact if I can put the yeast in today or if I have to do it later tonight. So, um, I'm not going to boil some more water in the kettle to help loosen up the stuff in the can I'm going to use this water entirely for all the hot water I need for the batch so when this is done I'm just going to pour it in mix up the brew enhancer free um, and then use a little bit into the can of real ale and um, just to loosen up the remaining bits and pieces it's still going to be a pretty hot batch to be honest because three and a half liters is a lot of boiling water to use especially when you don't have anything cold to cool it down with I don't I haven't really done planned ahead for a long time uh, actually when it comes to putting cold water in my batches so we're just going to boil it as is chuck it in and we'll just hope that the final temperature is low enough to put yeast in if not I'll do it tonight okay just finished boiling uh, so let's tip a bunch of it into the fermenter you'll see there's a bit of a mess in there that's my fault I'll explain in a second You probably see there's a bit of um, the real ale kit in here, a little that's stuck full of the thing. I was holding the can while I was um, just moving some stuff around in the kitchen. For some stupid reason I was holding the can. And it started spilling everywhere. Um, don't really have much more to say about that. It was just pretty stupid on my part. So some of it went into the fermenter. Some of it went on the bench, which I've cleaned up. Some of it went all over my hands, but it's all good. Quite an idiot today. So in the end I actually end up losing... I don't know if you can see that, but lost a little bit off the top there. Not ideal, but... At least the batch isn't lost yet. So let's get to work putting all this in. Rest of the, the fresh wort, fresh wort, this into here uh, to loosen that up. Let's see if we can give that a try. I'm about to have to stop the video because I'm running out of space on my phone. Wait me a second. There we go. Head of just boiling water. This goes in there. Probably mentioned in previous videos but just let that sit for a few minutes and then don't touch the can it will burn your hands use gloves it is very hot uh, I'm just gonna pause for a sec but in the meantime I'm just gonna get this all mixed up when that's done mix that in and then I'll start topping it up with water now we're just putting water and 
So, like I said, I like using this. It's um, probably the quickest way to do it if you don't have a hose or anything like that to just take water directly from your tap. Um, this is really fast. You get about a litre, a litre and a half each time. All I'll do is fill it up, pour it in, fill it up, pour it in, and just keep doing that. There we go, we've got all the water in there. Um, I only did this one up to 20 litres today uh, on account of losing some of the um, stuff from the can. Uh, I don't really want it to taste watery, so I thought just 20 litres, why not? One thing to note, uh, it is way too hot to put yeast in, so I'll definitely be leaving this till tonight until I um, pitch the yeast. Uh, you really want to get 22 or lower, well, ideally under 20 if you can, but um, 22 is usually fine. But yeah, way too hot, that's going to have to cool down. You could put it in a ice bath if you've got the ability to do that. I couldn't be bothered personally, I'm just going to leave it in the garage till tonight and it will cool down itself. Um, as long as you've got it covered and everything, you're not really going to get any wild yeast in there or anything crazy like that, so it should be fine. Um, th there we go, Cooper's Relail. Happy days. Um, keep brewing, keep it going, and um, what are you doing? What are you brewing? Love to hear about it. I love to hear all the things you guys are doing. It gives me ideas too, So and it helps the community. So yeah, let's uh, keep it going. Have fun, guys.